Emma, I don't think I've ever had an experience watching this, watching a film like this in a theater ever. Can you talk about the meticulous uh, attention to detail uh, and work with the other departments, like the costume designers, mm -hmm. production designers, and cinematographer, to ensure that everybody had this unified vision for a film? Well, first off, we have you know, the best of the best sure. working with us. I mean, we've been so lucky with the team that we've worked with on on pretty much every movie, but this one in particular, it was a real, it was the dream team. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time in prep, sitting around a table, talking about how we're going to achieve what we're going to achieve, but together, you know, none of these departments are sort of off working in their own little fiefdoms. It's very much a collaborative effort. It's one of the things I absolutely love about my job is getting to see people come together and figure out problems and, and, and so on. Um, but obviously, the fact that it's a cohesive movie comes from the fact that we have a director who really has a vision. And um, it's always funny when we come to the, entertainment, the, the home entertainment release because I'm always kind of I'm ready to just spend, you know, the next couple of years walking my dog, hanging with <laughs> right. my kids. And then I'll watch the behind the scenes, the extras, and I'm suddenly get, begin to get really excited again about making movies because I see what we've managed to achieve and I see the interviews with the, the, the heads of department. And I just think, yeah, I want to get back to it. <laughs> it's so funny you said that because after watching the, uh, the story of our time, I don't make films, but I immediately was like, oh, I, I think they can do anything. And I want to make a movie. Um, I do want to talk about something that Christopher uh, said uh, in one of the special features um, for the Meet the Press uh, panel. Um, he said that uh, when you innovate with technology, you have to maintain accountability. Um, and this was uh, on the merits of AI and filmmaking. Where do you see uh, AI and filmmaking going? Gosh, that's a very, very naughty problem. And we could be here for hours talking really about that. Are. I mean, I think that there are so many areas in which AI could be used as a, as a tool that could be useful, but the, it comes down to accountability, as Chris said. Um, that's why our unions have spent, or, you know, the, the WGN and, and SAG have spent so much time out on strike because they're trying to enforce accountability. Um, it's not something I think we should wholeheartedly say no to because I do think that there's there's some validity to AI in certain circumstances, but we have to be really thoughtful. I mean, you know, you look at the story of Oppenheimer and the technology that he unleashed on the world. Um, none of these things should be done without a great deal of thought around how they can be used, um, and then some very serious guardrails so that they're not doing more harm than good. Absolutely. Um, I got to talk about the performance of Killian Murphy. Now, I love this dude. He is an amazing actor, but he disappears into the he role of Oppenheimer. What did he bring to the role that wasn't necessarily on the page? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I think that what he did, I mean, the, the role as it uh, on the page was was fantastically well written. And I really felt like between having read the book and then read the script, I felt like I knew him. Sure. But he wasn't alive, you know. I think that what Killian brought was that depth of humanity that you just don't get. Yes. On the when you're reading about something on the somebody on the page, I think that he communicates so much with those amazing blue eyes that he has, um, and you know, it, it, it's really about sort of seeing Oppenheimer as a human being and seeing the weight of what he's done and what the team has done um, that, that Killian brought. That, n none of that you could write in, uh, as well as, as he communicates just with that face. Yes, I agree. You, you completely get invested into his journey and you are right there with him. It's incredible. Well, look, Emma, thank you so much for your time. The film is, as you know, it's oh, absolutely thank incredible. Thank you. So thank you, I appreciate your time.